Okay folks, so in this video, I wanna show you all the fish that I have in this system. Now believe it or not, I do have quite a few fish in this tank, but every time I do a video or an update or any filming of this tank, they always go camera shy and hide away, which is uh, very frustrating. So in this video, I'm gonna tice them all out with some food and show you what I'm feeding them and what we've got. So just a rundown quickly of what we have actually got in this system. We've got two common clownfish or slowest clownfish. We have two convict gobies, two wrasse, a peacock wrasse and a chorus wrasse. We've got a blue azure damsel. We've got one Midas blenny, one scooter blenny, one algae blenny, a penny the regal tang and a copper band butterfly fish. Also the cleanup crew inside this tank uh, comprises of four Mexican turbo snails, three regular turbos, uh, two conches, one sand sifting starfish, one cleaner shrimp, one emerald crab, one peppermint shrimp, and two regular hermit crabs. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of frozen in just to try and get them out as much as I can. I'm gonna get the camera off the tripod shortly. It'll be a good show. Then I'm gonna let you know what I'm actually feeding the fish day to day so hopefully they'll uh, sense that food coming in the water and uh, come out let's get the camera off the tripod now bear with me so there's the female clown and they'll be just tucked around this corner. I'm sure they're laying eggs around the back here. That's the Azure damsel. Probably one of the most peaceful damsels, doesn't bother anything. This is the copper band butterfly fish. Awesome example, and it's uh, responsible for clearing the whole tank of Aptasia. Really good uh, health, eats like a pig. It's important to keep these fish uh, well fed because I think that's half the reason why people don't have to succeed with them. They are expert care only in all the literature, but it's all down to feeding and just getting on, on the, the right food and getting them eating as much as possible. Penny, the regal tang, which is the size of a penny when I put her in. She's grown rapid and she literally eats everything. We got our Midas Blenny, just tucked in this little cave here. We got around this side. Hopefully, we can get these convict gobies out. No, disappeared. They'll come out when I put some food in in a minute. Algae Blenny, very chilled. Usually they're quite scatty these things. Well, he is quite scatty, but uh, not as much as the ones I've had before. He's quite chilled. Okay, so let's put the main bulk of food in. And what I feed on a regular basis, are roughly two to three times a day I feed. We feed a mixture of food. Um, I say a mixture of food. The, my, my main food that I do feed the whole system is New Life Spectrum Full Focus Probiotics pellets, which literally has everything in it for all types of fish. It's just annoying sometimes you can't, you know, it's just getting them on it. Like a lot of fish will go straight on it, some of you'll have to uh, just persevere with, but once they're on that, this food, what a massive difference to your system because the, the bacteria they put in it makes the fish absorb and ingest most of the nutrients out of it. And what's cut, the waste that comes out of the fish is really white and hardly anything. The other dry food is occasionally some algae flakes. I don't like putting nori or sheets of algae in a tank because it just ends up floating around the tank that comes off the clip. Um, Penny the regal tanks are the main ones to keep uh, a good staple diet of algae. 
interesting, but the Probiotics New Life Spectrum pellets does have four different types of macroalgae in it as well. Um, the other uh, food is this. This is great food. Full focus, which is Easy Reefs, Easy Mastic, which is like a high quality natural plankton feed uh, putty that is primarily designed for finicky fish. Now, my copper band absolutely loves this stuff. And what I do, or what I've been doing recently, is I've been, I'll show you what, how it comes. It's, uh, it's pre-made balls, putty balls, which you just squeeze onto the glass. And I'll show you how I put mine in, but I actually put it into the glass. I've got an actual feed pipe. And what I do is I roll the, one of these balls in spectrum pellets, so all the pellets are inside the, the putty. So as uh, the copper band's eating it, he's actually getting the spectrum as well. Um, so what I do, I take the camera off the tripod again, bear with me, is I have this feed pipe which I've made out of an old mag float, a piece of uh, pipe work. And there's the putty on top. I just press it onto the top of the magnet. It's all been pre rolled in the spectrum pellets. And this feed pipe here, I sprinkle some pellets in there or whatever else I'm feeding into here. It just distributes into the tank nicely without all going down the overflow. So that's quite a good uh, little contraption I've made. So I'm going to put some food in there now. convict dodies have come out. So I sprinkle some pellets in there. So usually all the fish have come out now, but they, this is almost as if they know I'm filming. So all the pellets are coming out the pipe, into the wave pump there, and going around the tank. You'll see the convicts are coming out now. These are great fish, these are. Although they're getting quite large, one's larger than the other. Hopefully they don't get too much bigger. I think they'll probably reach, probably maybe tops a foot long probably about eight to ten inches now they're so peaceful loads of character usually they're out say so when you're not filming they're out and about everywhere typical there's a scooter blenny So what I do now with the pipe, once I know all of the pellets have come out of the tube, just give it a little shake, I then move the pipe, the mastic on, just down here for the copper band, go straight onto it. Doesn't seem to be camera shy at all this one. a bit better now look at the length of that one that's the larger one why oh, there's plenty coming out apologies for the length of this video again if you've lasted this long it's uh it's annoying i always intend to do a short video but uh end up coming out long just wanted to show you my fish properly so because most of you uh probably haven't seen all of them So twice a day I do this same routine, once in the morning and once about, I'll stay at nine o'clock. 
Uh, I sometimes put in, I try to avoid putting frozen food inside the tank um, because it is loaded with phosphates. Obviously, phosphate is a preservative, uh, in a preservative thing, you know, the safe food, but phosphate, that's the way, the way it makes into your tank and, and raises your phosphates. So, I do try and avoid putting frozen in, but I do occasionally put some ice and some brine in for sort of the scooter blending and that, that probably doesn't eat a lot of uh, these pellet sort of stuff. Probably sort of crazies more on pods and small crustaceans, really. Okay, so I'm going to wrap the video up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one.